back at Chase Field on our drone cam presented by Team Mobile. A fourth spot for the Texas Rangers in the top of the ninth inning has broken open game five. They are three outs away from a World Series championship. And Josh Spores staying in the game here. For the Diamondbacks, 9-1-2 and two, and a night full of missed opportunities. Gerardo Perdomo takes a strike. Well, they're base runners in seven of the eight innings, but they've gone 0 for 8, 0 for 9 with runners in scoring position. No balls and two strikes. Spores is 0-2. One, two. Boy, did the Rangers need a hot reliever, and he got hot at the right time. We started the series in Baltimore. He came out throwing, eh, walking a couple guys, got a little off, and then he has been locked in ever since. A big reason why Texas is winning. Their bullpen was basically battered coming in. They needed... Winning formula scenarios, that means pitch deep in the game, which they got, and then their top three were able to handle the rest of the game. And they got guys like Gray and Heaney, Dunning and Bradford. One, two. <laughs> Strike three and one gone in the nine. And this season-long problem has transformed into one of the defining strengths of this Rangers team. This bullpen, two outs away from finishing the job. They hadn't been to the playoffs in seven years. Six consecutive losing seasons, including 102 just two years ago. And they lost 94 last year. Ball one on Carroll. Hadn't been to the World Series since the back-to-back -back trips in 2010, 2011. 63rd year of the franchise, 52nd year in Texas. Carroll pops it up. Heim is back behind the plate. He's got it. And once again, the Rangers are one out away. Think about it. If the Diamondbacks were to win the World Series, most improbable team ever. But the improbable journey of the Texas Rangers, even though they were a great team for a long part of the season in first place, we documented that route. They had to beat the defending champs without winning a home game. They were down three games to two. Now they're one out away from winning the World Series. Cattel Marte takes a little bit low. A handful of times throughout this year where they looked finished, but every time, just when you thought that they were done, they picked themselves up and stood tall. For 12 years, they've waited for another chance to get the last out, to get the last strike. One ball, one strike. Got Marte. Took down 99 wins, took down over 100 wins, took down the defending champs, and all on the road. Spores with a 1 1. There's strike two, and again, Texas is one strike away. It took 35 years for this franchise to get to the playoffs. It took them a half century to get to the World Series. Can they finish it off? Two balls and two strikes on Marte. And their 63rd season.
So long to heartbreak. Hello World Series for the Texas Rangers, champions in 2023. And a guy that is about to join Mr. October himself as the only two-time World Series MVP position players ever. Corey Seager reacts to the last out. Marcus Simeon, the other of the high-priced free agents, the guys that they brought in to bring them back to this place. And in two short years, they've delivered. In one short year, he's delivered. Bruce Bochy has his fourth World Series ring. So amazing. Beat up before the postseason started. And then Evaldi now five wins in the postseason. What a moment and what a year for the Texas Rangers. And Adolis Garcia who had so many incredible moments that when you watch the reel of this postseason run, you'll you'll hear his name over and over. You'll see his smile and his swing over and over. And the surprise star of the bullpen, Josh Spores. Josh Spores on the mound for the last out of the Texas Rangers first World Series win. He got hot. Montgomery got hot. Avaldi got hot. They had two starters carry the freight. They had a bunch of guys fill in the gaps.